In this video, I'm going to show you how to save some time by tracking your masks. So here we are in Fusion and I'm going to right click New Fusion Composition, give it a name and uh, set the frame rate as well and the duration. Five seconds is fine and then click Create. So double click on that to open the comp here in the Node Viewer. And then we're just going to drag in the clip and um, I like to start with a background node and just connect that to the media out. And then I'm going to merge this clip over the background so we can see the clip here. Um, and we can close the media pool and uh, yeah. So here is the shot that we're looking at. So this is just this old little house that I filmed at a abandoned train station nearby. So maybe let's say you want to change the color of this painted section here, this white paint. Maybe you want to change the color of the paint or you want to blur it out or maybe you want to do something with it and you need to roto this out and then obviously add some keyframes. So you can do that. So let's add a color corrector and usually what you'll do, you'll add a mask and then you'll kind of draw your mask like that very roughly um, and then you'll kind of go to a different frame and you'll resize and reshape this obviously so there is a much much easier way to do this in fusion so let me show you so i'm going to delete this polygon mask and for now we can yeah we can actually delete this for now so search for a node with the name planar tracker and then drag that onto the line hold shift to connect it and then on the planar tracker we can track a certain section of our frame so let's say we want to start at frame 60 and then we can kind of track forward and backwards or you can start at the beginning it doesn't really matter but i'm going to show you how to start at frame 60. so on this planar tracker make sure you click this set button right here and that will set the reference frame or the reference time to that frame 60 so just note that we started on frame 60 and then for the tracker you can select between point or hybrid point area and i think the hybrid point area gives better results so i usually go with that and then you simply can kind of zoom in here and we're simply going to draw a rough kind of mask this doesn't have to be perfect at all this is just for the tracking so you kind of just want to add a like a box like this around the area that you know you will need to roto then you click this button to track forward cool so now i can see we've got all these tracking points and they're tracking nicely and now go back to that first frame that frame 60 and then click this button to track backwards cool so it looks like we have a good track as you can see it's sticking nicely to that area and now you can click this create planar transform button right here and this will create this little node for you with all that keyframe information in so what you can do you can disconnect this planar tracker node and you can even actually just delete it so now we've got that tracking information and now we can bring in something like a color corrector node and then let's bring in a mask and connect the mask to the color corrector let's just place this underneath like that and now we need to draw our first kind of shape of the mask so make sure you go to that frame that we started the planar track which was frame number 60. so on this frame i'm going to draw my roto mask and now all we have to do is we drop in this planar tracker information between the polygon and the color corrector like this make sure it's connected and now if you kind of scrub with the polygon selected you'll see that our mask is kind of working it's kind of sticking to that area now this will not be 100 percent perfect and i recommend that you add at least like one or two or three keyframes just to make sure that it's actually staying in place so with the polygon node selected maybe go to the first frame and let's just have a look at this mask you can see the edges are kind of off here uh, not a lot actually a little bit here uh, that's kind of okay that's actually not bad at all um, and then let's go to the last frame let's have a look uh, that's also not bad at all that's also actually perfect um, yeah so you can see it's a little bit off so just make some small adjustments like that and uh, there you have a perfect mask and now i can go into the color corrector and i can maybe change the color and there you can see it's working perfectly how easy is that so save some time and track your masks thanks for watching and i'll see you next time